So time for a little uh, tip and trick here. Uh, so say you only have two modules of the Buchla and you want to dive deeper into the Buchla ecosystem. Um, here's some interesting thoughts. First of all, you have two audio outs. They are both the same. And uh, this is true of the Buchla 100, the 200, the 200E. I think uh, my guess is the reason you have these are like malts, audio malts. You can send one to like a low pass gate, the other you can send to FM something else, or to a filter, or to a ring modulator. Um, it's pretty handy. Any rate, what we're going to look at today is so how to utilize both of these. I'm going to have the um, saw. It's just going to have a sine wave on it. Uh, and then I'm going to use the square wave. I'm going to turn this all the way to the square wave so it basically becomes a trigger. And I'm going to use the audio out to trigger a function generator. And I can adjust the uh, tempo here by the frequency. And by cascading these, we can sort of get like a clock divider thing going. So this is going at a fast rate, but if I go down and use that to trigger the second one, I can have a slow attack. And so now we have a subdivision and I can send that subdivision to the wave shape. And I can also, since I have an envelope coming out of this first function generator, that could go to, let's say, this is where it's handy to have this attenuated uh, pitch input. Uh, so we can... And I could further cascade this by taking the second function generator, going to, whoops, going to the third. Come on, there we go. With a longer um, attack and use this envelope to change the tempo uh, of our main clock, if you will, our square wave. But wait, there's more. We can turn the fourth function generator into an audio oscillator and it can come out and go into another channel over here. And this is where we can now take the second audio out, like we talked at the beginning, go into decay and modulate this with our Sawtooth. So we've got and there you go. Hope that helps. Have fun.